Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church, Manila, and I wanted to provide you a video on the topic of Calvinism and limited atonement. Limited atonement teaches that Jesus Christ, his atonement was not for everyone. It was limited. He didn't die for everyone. He only died for the elect or the chosen. But the Bible does not teach that. And one verse that disproves them is 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 1, where the Bible reads, But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies. These are false teachers, false prophets, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. So the Bible is very clear here, denying the Lord that bought them. So even though they're false prophets, even though there's wicked people, even though they go to hell, the Bible says the Lord that bought them. Now this is a verse that really stumps Calvinists. They have no clue how to answer this. And so the common thing that you're gonna do, see, is that they're gonna go back to the Greek and try to change the meaning of even denying the Lord that bought them. We don't have to go back to the Greek to find out what the Bible says. And it's like these people that like to go back to the Greek, they don't speak Greek themselves. And if you don't speak Greek, then why are you going back to the Greek and acting like you're an expert? The people that translated the Bible understood languages much better than you did. And the Bible is very clear, even denying the Lord that bought them. So if you just choose to just not believe the Bible, you can say whatever you want, I guess. But the Bible is very clear, even denying the Lord that bought them. These false prophets that go to hell, the Bible's clear, the Lord bought them. He paid for their salvation. He wanted to give them the gift of eternal life. They did not end up getting saved. They ended up going to hell. That doesn't change the fact that the Lord bought them. And I'm, I've yet to see Calvinists give an explanation where they don't have to go back to the Greek that makes any sense whatsoever. And so I encourage you Calvinists, go here and comment on my video below and tell me you know, why I'm wrong about this. Because the Bible is very clear in this verse that these people, they went to hell, but the Lord did by them. He paid for their salvation, even though they never believed on him and they ended up going to hell. Thank you and God bless.